What's up guys, the snowman here and it seemed like a lot of you enjoyed my NBA playoff preview video so I wanted to come back today with some uh, more basketball content. Maybe you're just getting into basketball or just recently started watching the NBA for the first time. Well, today I have my basketball positions explained. We'll go through the five main positions in the sport, talk about the roles of each one and give specific player examples. I also want to talk about some non-standard or hybrid positions as well. All the basics about basketball positions and roles. And a quick note before we begin, over time the sport of basketball has grown to be more positionless, especially at the top level in the NBA. It's not quite as defined and rigid as it used to be, certainly more fluid, teams with interchangeable players that can fit multiple positions and roles. Uh, but in terms of the five main traditional positions in basketball, number one is the point guard. This player is typically the shortest on the team and one of the best passers and ball handlers. The point guard is often responsible for dribbling the basketball up the floor so with the ball being in their hands so much that requires secure ball handling skills they're typically good shooters of the basketball but their primary role is to run the offense and sort of be the quarterback on the floor the point guard calls a lot of the plays in offensive sets they're almost like an extension of the head coach during the game uh, point guards are fast players they're facilitators that most of the time adopt a team first mentality some other characteristics passing communication quickness, unselfishness, and composure. And although there are plenty of score first point guards out there too, like Steph Curry or Damian Lillard, a player like Chris Paul or Steve Nash is a better example of a true point guard, uh, someone who looks to set the table up for his teammates. These players typically lead their teams in assists. Uh, they're also real students of the game who study game film meticulously and help their teammates shine. The second main position in basketball is the shooting guard, also known as the two guard, the shooting guard and the small forward, which we'll talk about next are also considered wings. Uh, there's many different kinds of shooting guards, but for the most part, as the name suggests, one of their primary roles is to shoot the basketball. Uh, these players are some of the most gifted scorers in the game. They also tend to be pretty decent ball handlers as well. Some shooting guards like JJ Redick and Clay Thompson are catch and shoot type players who specialize from three and they come off a multitude of down screens. Some like Dwayne Wade are slashers who cut to the rim frequently. Others like Danny Green are classic 3 and D shooting guards excelling at defense and hitting open threes. These are some skills and qualities that fit the majority of shooting guards. Shooting, moving without the ball, ball handling, rebounding, and playing strong defense. And a perfect example of all those characteristics is the late great Kobe Bryant. Super athletic, a natural score from anywhere on the court, in the paint, free throw line, mid-range, and from deep. A lockdown defender too, Kobe, widely regarded as the second best shooting guard of all time after Michael Jordan. On to our third position, the small forward, also called the three. Small forwards tend to be anywhere from six foot six to six nine in the NBA, so not exactly small by the uh, dictionary definition. The key word to describe this position though is versatility. They do a little bit of everything on the basketball court. Small forwards have a variety of assets such as quickness and strength inside. They're basically like a slightly stronger and taller version of the shooting guard and positionally they set up on the wings like the shooting guard some small forwards are more defensive minded while others can be pure scorers and these are a few other characteristics that describe the average small forward ability to score from both outside and inside the box rebounding quickness in handling the ball protect multiple positions and the perfect small forward example in basketball is LeBron James a player who can quite literally do everything you need a player to do on the floor high averages in points rebounds and assists a quality motor on defense insane athleticism these are all things that the best small forwards have in their toolbox moving out of the fourth position in basketball it's the power forward who like the fifth position we'll talk about in a sec is considered a big and spends most of their time in the paint or closer to the basket as opposed to outside near the three-point line. Although the power forward position is uh, where the NBA has drastically shifted over the last 20 years, no longer are the days where great power forwards like KG, Dirk, and Tim Duncan roam the paint on both sides. Nowadays, the power forward is uh, often essentially just an extra small forward, but if we're speaking traditionally, the power forward is a strong, powerful, athletic player who does most of the scoring in the post or close to the basket. Not all power forwards can shoot from three, but they should have at least a dependable mid-range game. Some qualities of the power forward are size, scoring from mid-range and in the paint, uh, strength, shot blocking, and rebounding. Anthony Davis, when he's healthy, is a good example of a modern power forward.
forward, supreme athleticism, a shot blocker, and physical presence defensively, but then offensively can step out and make an 18-footer in addition to having skilled footwork on the low block and uh, put up buckets and bunches inside. Finally, we get to the center. These bigs are the tallest players on the court, and they play the closest to the rim. Just like with power forwards, centers have changed a lot in the past couple decades. Uh, they've become way more skilled in all facets. I mean, just look at a player like Nikola Jokic. He's a far cry away from uh, players like Eric Dampier, Andres Biedrins, and other archaic tall shot blockers with not much else to offer. Uh, offensively, centers can play with their back to the basket. They're comfortable posting up and shooting layups or jump hooks in tight spaces. Defensively, centers are the anchor on defense. Not only do they have to guard their man, but oftentimes they're rotating over to provide help defense on opposing point guards and wings too. And uh, these are some common skills for centers. You got size, inside rebounding and scoring, strength and shot deflection. Joel Embiid is one of the best centers in the game today at seven feet tall. He's a hulking behemoth of a player, a true intimidator on both ends, able to bully his way through defenders for easy looks inside. Also patrolling the paint defensively, a master rebounder. Embiid also good enough at passing out of double teams when he's swarmed by multiple defenders. So those are the five traditional positions to note, but let's go to the bonus round and talk about a few more terms. Uh, the point forward is essentially a forward who acts more like a point guard, so they'll bring the ball up the floor pretty frequently, initiate offense, and play out of the backcourt as opposed to the front court. Again, you could say LeBron is a pretty good example of the point forward. Someone else I watched a lot growing up was Lamar Odom. He was a taller guy, but possessed good ball handling and uh, passing skills that helped open things up for his teammates. Draymond Green, another example of the point forward. Taller threes and fours that have similar skill sets to point guards. We also have the combo guard. This player is capable of playing both point guard and shooting guard. Uh, they'll need to be able to handle the ball well and shoot accurately. So basically, they don't quite fit into the point guard or shooting guard category 100%. They're a little bit of both. And when I hear the term combo, guard. I think of guys like Lou Williams and Jamal Crawford, shorter guys who aren't necessarily pure shooting guards, but they can also dribble the ball like ones and of course put the ball in the bucket like their life depends on it. The stretch four or stretch five is essentially just a power forward or a big that can step out and shoot a decent percentage from three-point range. Uh, they used to be more rare. Guys like Mehmet Okur or Zydrunas Olgauskas were the outliers, but nowadays almost everyone in the NBA can shoot threes, so you don't hear the term stretch four as much. It's more of a given that your four can shoot from deep. And last but not least is the Swingman. This is basically a versatile wing that has the speed and strength to play either the shooting guard or small forward position. They're athletic, they're multifaceted. A couple of Swingmen in today's game are DeMar DeRozan and Chris Middleton. Really, it doesn't matter whether you play them at the two or the three. They're uh, well-rounded enough to thrive in any situation. Thank you so much for watching my Basketball Positions Explained video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more basketball content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram as well, at Snowman Sports. And uh, I'll be back real soon with more uh, basketball, tennis, and soccer content. Thanks a lot. Cheers.